Hi ho neighbors, Rado Goji here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Red Version. When we left off, we were in the Pokemon Tower, which is full of spooky ghosts, and, um, the ghosts were paralyzing and confusing us. And also, people are possessed. Yeah! <laughs> And this is basically just, you know, this is a standard playthrough. There's not going to be any creepy pasta stuff happening. <laughs> yes, I have been reading creepy pastas again. Mostly the, the NES Godzilla one. I actually saw, uh, I I uh, I read that a couple days ago, and um, I liked it a lot until the ending. <laughs> then again, so did a lot of people, but you know. The atmosphere was really well done with all the, uh, because he had so many screenshots, and the... Up and up until the, um... The anime battle at the end, you know, the the main antagonist was, was, was properly creepy and scary, I thought. But, uh, anyway... You know, a lot of, um... A lot of creepypastas with, with, uh, with Pokemon happen around this area. But, um... Yeah, we're not anywhere near um, Halloween, so I'm, I'm not gonna say anything about that. We're not gonna do any creepy pasta stuff. Instead, it's 4:20, so um, there there are many many uh, variations on on what the what the true meaning of of, of April 20th is. Um, I don't cel I don't openly celebrate any of them, but. Um, the one I acknowledge most, uh, the one I acknowledge most is George Takei's birthday. So happy birthday, George Takei! I know you're not watching this like at all, but yeah, you know, George Takei, he's awesome. He was Sulu. <laughs> That's what most people remember him for. I mean, he was in other, he's in a lot of other stuff too, and he's a good actor. But um, you know, me like everyone else on the freaking planet is subscribed to his Facebook page and. He puts up random internet pictures and puts puns to them, and I think they're funny. Then again, I'm weird, and they're usually why do I, you know, why do I keep even bothering using the Growlithe on the gases? It's not going to, it's not going to fly. I'm just going to put them out for the experience, and that's it. I'm not even going to bother trying to fight these things with. With um, I think they, I think it's mainly because they have um, they have really good special, I guess, a, a really good special um stat. Also, I'm not gonna use dig. I'm gonna use rock slide because if I use if I use dig, then there's a chance then there, there's a chance that on my second turn I'll have like wasted two turns instead of just one with the confusion. So I'm gonna do that. Their regular defense isn't great, obviously, but I guess they have a really high special stat. Uh, so that's why Ember isn't doing crap. Also, Ember is a pretty weak move. Harden? Um, no. No, we're not going to learn Harden. The defense is good enough as it is. We don't need more of that. I mean, I mean, more defense is always good, but I'm not going to, you know, spend turns that I could be, you know attacking the enemy, buffing my defense that doesn't really need to be buffed that much. I'm gonna start focusing on getting everyone else up to level 30, while simultaneously giving Biggins the experience he needs um, to get to level 30 as well. Level 30 is gonna be my next uh, my next benchmark for um, raising my Pokémon. I wonder if we'll see any Cubone here. Cubone aren't ghosts, by the way. They're just ground types. I think we've seen Cubone before, um, but uh, yeah, Cubone's just a just a ground type who lives in the tower too. He's not a ghost or anything. The Ghastly is in, and the Haunters. We haven't seen any Haunters yet, but they're here. They're just um, like the Cubone. They're very hard to uh, come across. They're it, it, uh, it's very rare when you come across them. So just you know, a heads up. I mean. If you want to get a Haunter, you may as well get a Ghastly, raise it a few more levels, and then have your Haunter. Um, the only thing that I really um, suggest if you want to look for a rare Pokemon here is Cubone, because this is the only place that you can catch them. 
I want to use dig, uh, dig as much as I can because it is super effective, but if they confuse me, I'm just going to use Rock Slide. Because, um... Yeah, confusion sucks. Where is the ghost? I... Uh, defeated it. I was going to say I killed it, but you can't kill something that's already dead. Alrighty. Probably get another Ghastly here. Yup. We'll take this out, too, because... Also, I just, just noticed that, um... Yeah, they do have a high special stat, but do they have a high physical attack stat, too? Because... Ghost-type moves are physical attacks, believe it or not. They count as physical type. Uh, physical type. Um... Because this is, this is the days before whether or not a move was special or physical was determined by a separate... Uh, attribute. This is back when the elemental type determined whether or not it was physical or special, and um, Ghost, for whatever weird convoluted reason, is not a special move. It is a physical one. Ooh. Come, child. I sealed this place with white magic. You can rest here. See? Go in here. All your Pokemon are fully healed. So this might actually be, you know, a good place to level up if you really need to. I'm not going to um, use this to try to force Biggins to get some experience off of Ghastly's because, quite frankly, that's just going to be a waste of uh, a waste of uh, super potions. I mean, I've used quite enough as it is, especially when I'm only doing like two damage to them and they're doing whatever their level is, which is usually around level 20 to 25. So, no, I'm not going to do that. You know, they could take me out in three hits. It takes me, like, six. Probably seven or eight. I, I don't know. It doesn't take out very much hit points at all, because... Yeah, you know. There's stats, and the stats on everything, and... It's really... The, 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 uh, the gameplay engine is really deep when it gets right down to it. <laughs> There's stats and attributes and stuff all over the... All across the board, and, um... You know, yeah, I, I guess this this can be considered a kid's game, but when all is said and done, if you really look into it, it's very deep in, in, how, in how its um, RPG engine is set up, uh, especially in the later games, because we have, like, you know, this game we have, like, four, like, each of the Pokemon have, like, five main stats, um, HP, attack, defense, speed, special... Then it goes and splits up special into special attack and special defense. Uh, then it goes and gives them abilities in Generation Three. Generation Four, we get all the all the moves have physical and special. And um, you know it's uh, it gets fairly really deep rooted into a lot of the stuff that it puts in, and um, that's one of the reasons I really like it. It's uh, it's very very well thought out. Now, this game does have a lot of glitches in it, and as a result, um, you know, like, for example, Ghost is supposed to do double damage to... Why did I use Dig? I, I wanted to use Rock Slide. Uh, like, like, you know, as I said before, Ghost, is, Ghost is, is supposed to do double damage to Psychic types, but because of a glitch, it actually does no damage to Psychic types, so there you go. And I guess you could argue that it was that you know ghost types were, weren't meant to do double damage to psychic types the entire time, but when you look at all of the official like paperwork and stuff like the instruction manual and, and all of the official type charts, all of the official type charts and the and, and the one in the instruction manual and everything do say that ghost types do double damage to psychic types. And plus, if you want to bring the show into consideration, I normally don't, but a lot of people go by what the show is, and the show is, you know, it is loosely based on the game. Uh, it just goes through a lot of uh, a BS as far as the events that are concerned, but it, even the show goes and says, yeah, ghost types are meant to, uh, are, are meant to be uh, advantageous over, over psychic types. And that's why when... When, uh, when lead character Ash goes to the Psychic Gym, which, for whatever reason, is the fourth gym he goes to and not the fifth or sixth, um, 
and then he like goes out of his way to go to Lavender Town to get a uh, to get a ghost Pokemon to fight the fight the psychic type gym leader because he lost. Um, which um, you know when you take into consideration that the ghost type the ghost Pokemon have two types, it's not that good of an idea. But but um, you know they wanted to try to emphasize that ghost Pokemon ghost ghost type move the moves at the very least have an advantage over psychic types. But um, you know they 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 don't. <laughs> I mean, they're supposed to, but they don't. I mean, there are, there are various reasons why I don't like this show. Mostly because of... Like, I would have li I would have liked it if it more closely followed the source materials. Like, a lot of the stuff... Yeah, I keep forgetting to mention, that's Haunter, right there. <laughs> we saw Haunter in a couple battles ago, but yeah, that's Haunter. Also, oddly enough, it's a level 22 Haunter. Ghastly aren't meant to evolve into level 25. Just saying. Um, but there are a lot of things. Um, mainly plot convenience BS when it comes to how Ash kind of progresses in his journey. Um, and it, bring, it does bring up quite a few misnomers. Um, you know, if, if you're a kid who watched the show first and then went on to the game second, you might call BS on a lot of stuff in the game. I mean, I, I th from what I understand, the show actually came out in, in, in first in America. I know it's based on the game, but it actually, I think it actually came out first in America, um, and then the game came out. Um, but like, for example, during the first gym battle, um, Ash loses, and he gets a gym badge anyway. Um, well, he forfeits. Like he gets badge, he gets a badge for uh, the first badge for forfeit, basically forfeiting. Or after he forfeits, because um, and then and then like Brock says, oh no, you you actually beat me because uh, the sprinkler system turned on, and <laughs> a bunch of BS happening there. There's a lot of times where his Pikachu can use his electric attacks to one-hit KO ground-type Pokemon, which doesn't happen. Um. Um. The the bull crap where he went to the Vermilion Gym. And, um, Lieutenant Surge had a Raichu, and the Raichu basically, you know, kicked Pikachu's ass because, you know, it's a freaking Raichu. And then, you know, Pikachu had to go to the hospital, or to the Pokemon Center version of the hospital, basically. I saw that fresh water, we need to use that. We need to use a Paralyzed Hill here. And then they went, and then, uh, um, Ash thought about evolving the Pikachu. Um, but Pikachu refused to evolve because he wanted to beat Raichu that way. And, I, you know, I get the whole, you know, sappy power of friendship stuff. But it turns out that he ended up... No, no, no bullcrap here. He ended up beating Raichu because he learned Quick Attack. And... I'm like, okay, uh, Quick Attack isn't that powerful of a move. Why would that be make be the deciding factor in beating the Raichu? Um, and then there's the whole the the whole story arc with the Psychic Gym. Just when I th every time I think about it, it just makes me <laughs> rage inside. Because first off, they don't have to beat Team Rocket. At at well, we'll 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 see some events that lead up to that. But they basically just go right to the gym. And the gym leader is basically like this sadistic person who actually ends up shrinking them uh, and putting them into a dollhouse or something like that, using her psychic powers. Although the actual battle starts off, she has an abra, it evolves into Abrakazam mid-battle. Not an ab abra, a a Kadabra. Kadabra Kazam. Um... <laughs> It evolves. It ends up evolving into Kadabra mid-battle, and um, you know, of course, Pikachu's no match for it. So they go out of their way to go to Lavender Town to get a Ghost-type Pokemon, and Ash ends up getting the badge because the Haunter that he gets makes her laugh. He didn't win the battle or anything. You know, he did not win the he did not win the battle like at all. It's just, oh, he he made Sabrina laugh. So. uh... He gets the he gets the gym badge. 
That in the, that, that entire thing was bull crap. Let's use fly. I'll show off fly. It's basically like dig only flying type, and I think it does more damage. But yeah, that's fly. And um, I never really watched much past. I mean, I liked watching the show back in the day because I was overly obsessed with this game back back in the day. Um, but also, I, I didn't watch it on the original channel that it airs on. I watched it on uh, basically a, a syndicated version that was that was playing around the same time. And every time it got up to the, the, the episode where Charmander evolves into Charmeleon, that's when it would start over. So I never really got to see past that. And uh, I never really did. I seen an episode here or there, and I think, well, this is stupid. I'm not going to watch this. <laughs> All right, let's kill this last gas. Well, I say kill, but I mean make make the last ghastly faint here. Um, I'm gonna use Muldoon because uh, Dudley is hurting, and I forgot to heal him in between battle. We'll take out this ghastly, and then we'll call it a video because I didn't mean to go on so long about the uh, the TV show. But yeah, lots of ghosts. We saw nothing but ghosts. We we encountered nothing but ghost type Pokemon in this episode. And, um, we're almost done with the tower, I think. We're, we're more than halfway through. But, uh, next time, uh, we will get to the top... We'll, uh, I think we're gonna get to the top of the tower in the next video. And, um, we'll see what's up with Mr. Fuji, because he's been missing for a while. I've been Rado Goji, and I'll be here next time. Join me, won't you?